team of workmen turned up this morning at 8am before it was even light to install the windows and doors in my new house. It had rained all night and was still drizzling at the time so I knew the interior would be partially flooded and phoned Didier, the builder's clerk of works. I said that I thought it was ill-advised under the circumstances to go ahead and he said that he'd be right over. However, I had to leave for a medical appointment today so could not stay to discuss the matter and just told him that he should take note of our conversation. The work went ahead in my absence and although it was still underway when I returned in the afternoon, I didn't feel up to going up to take a look and only did so after the workers had completed the job and left. Under normal circumstances, I'd have been very pleased with the results, but I wasn't. The house was locked, but when I looked through the right-hand double doors into the interior, I could see the large pool of rainwater that there was on the floor of the living room. And there was a large pool of water at the bedroom end also. I had no idea when the builder would be back to continue work, but what was absolutely clear, however, was that with all of the doors and windows now closed and locked, there was absolutely no possibility that the interior would be able to dry out any time soon, especially as more water was still entering down the wall in the angle at the back of the house. This was precisely why I'd been trying all along to avoid a winter build, and in fact it was turning out worse than I could ever have envisaged. And with even more rain forecast for the coming week, it could only get worse still. I had not just sat back to wait for something to happen about the roof problem. Far from it. In the contract, there's a named person called an interlocuteur whose role is to intercede in any dispute and try to arrive at some kind of equitable solution. My builder is part of a family-owned group and I wasn't encouraged when I saw that the name of the interlocuteur was the same as that of the family. But I'd sent them a registered letter anyway, requesting an urgent meeting to discuss and attempt to resolve the roof issues. I'd received a reply proposing a meeting on site in three days time, which I was now hoping might be how the logjam could be broken, but I'd have to wait a bit longer to see if this was so.